Now let's discuss non-exact differential equations. So what is a non-exact differential equation? A non-exact differential equation is an equation wherein the derivative of m in terms of y is not equal to the derivative of n in terms of x. So if that will be the case, we have a non-exact differential equation. So what is our aim here in a non-exact differential equation? Our aim is to make a non-exact differential equation exact. So how can we do that? How can we make a non-exact differential equation exact? By multiplying the differential equation by an integrating factor. So where can we get the integrating factor? We have to compute for the integrating factor using three cases. So we have three cases in determining the integrating factor to be used in making a non-exact differential equation exact. So what are those three cases? So we have case number one. When the integrating factor is a function of x alone, meaning the integrating factor can be computed with a function of x alone. Case number two, when the integrating factor is a function of y alone. And case number three, when the integrating factor is the product of powers of the variables x and y. So let us have case number one first. Okay, so case number one. So in case number one, this should satisfy this equation. Under case number one, we have to satisfy the equation fx is equal to 1 over n times the derivative of m in terms of y minus the derivative of n in terms of x. So, after determining that there is a function of x alone, we are to employ the use of this equation to compute for the integrating factor phi. This is e raised to the integral of fx dx. So this fx here is the one we get on this particular formula. Okay? So kailangan makuha natin yung fx by using this. Then right after computing for phi, we are now going to multiply phi with the original equation. Multiply phi with m dx plus n dy is equal to usually 0. And then, again, test for the exactness of the differential equation. And once you found out that the, exact, the, 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 that the equation is an exact de, you are to follow the steps that we have followed in chapter 4 in, na, in, in exact differential equation. Okay? So, let us have an example to show you what I meant with determining integrating factor and multiplying the integrating factor with the original equation, etc. So let's have problem number one. So find the complete solution of x squared plus y squared plus 1 dx. So we have example number one x squared plus y squared plus 1 dx plus x times x minus 2y dy is equal to 0. As I've told you a while ago, we have to get the derivative of m in terms of y and the derivative of n in terms of x just for us to find out whether that falls under case number 1. So, let us determine the value of m first. What is m? So, m is x squared plus y squared plus 1. And your n is equal to x times x minus 2y. Or we can rewrite this as x squared minus 2xy by distributing x inside the parentheses. Now we have... Now we get the derivative of m 
in terms of y holding x constant so x square is considered constant so this the differential of this is zero so the differential of y square is 2y and the differential of 1 is 0 now let us have the differential of n in terms of x this time holding y constant using this we have 2x minus 2y as you can see we have a non-exact differential equation now our aim is to make this non-exact differential equation exact. By applying this formula here, we have the function of x is equal to 1 over n. But what is n? n is x squared minus 2xy times the derivative of m in terms of y. In here, you have 2y minus the derivative of n in terms of x, we have 2x minus 2y. Okay? Simplifying this, we have 1 over x squared minus 2xy times 2y minus 2x plus 2y. Or we have 4y minus 2x all over why don't we factor out x x times x minus 2y okay again simplifying this further we have by factoring out negative 2 on the numerator we have negative 2 times x minus 2y okay all over x times x minus 2y okay cancel this we have fx is equal to negative 2 over x so case number one is possible because this is a function of x alone. Next step is for us to find the integrating factor, phi. So what is the integrating factor phi? That is given by the equation e raised to the integral of fx dx. So we have phi is equal to e to the integral of fx. But what is fx? We have negative 2 over x dx. Okay? So we have phi is equal to e to the negative 2 ln of x. Okay? Or we have phi is equal to e to the ln of x raised to the negative 2 but e raised to the loan is actually x to the negative 2 that is phi or your integrating factor phi is equal to 1 over x squared so this is now your integrating factor all we have to do now is to multiply this integrating factor to the original equation here so we have 1 over x squared times x squared plus y squared plus 1 dx plus x squared minus 2xy dy is equal to 0. Distributing this inside the parenthesis, we have 1 plus y square over x square plus 1 over x square dx plus 1 minus 2y 
over x dy is equal to 0. Okay? Next. Okay? So, our new value for m is 1 plus y square over x square plus 1 over x squared. And our new value for n is 1 minus 2y over x. Okay? Now let us have the new value for the derivative of m in terms of y holding x constant. So this is a constant and this is a constant. Okay? So the derivative of y square over x square is 2y over x squared. Now the derivative of n in terms of x, this time holding y constant, is the derivative of 1 is 0. So wala na yan. We have negative x to the negative 1 to y. Or this is negative x to the negative 1 minus 1 2y and this becomes positive by multiplying that with negative 1 and this will give us x to the negative 2 2y or this is 2y over x square as you notice the derivative of m in terms of y is now equal to the derivative of n in terms of x now we are to follow the steps that we have in chapter 4 in exact differential equation. So this is what we are going to do. Follow the steps in exact differential equation. Since we already have now an exact DE. Okay? So after proving that the differential equation is an exact DE this time, we have the new equation to be 1 plus y square over x square plus 1 over x square dx plus 1 minus 2y over x dy is equal to 0. So, since we already have an exact DE, we are to get the two values for f. Your f is equal to the integral of m. 1 plus y square over x square plus 1 over x square dx. Integrating this, we have the integral of dx is x holding y constant plus the integral of y square over x square will give us what? x to the negative 2 plus 1 over negative 2 plus 1. So we have minus y square over x. Okay? Minus 1 over x. That will be your first value for f. Okay? Now, the second value for f, using n this time, we have f is equal to the integral of 1 minus 2y over x dy. So, we have y minus 2y squared over 2x. Or we have y, cancel yung 2, minus y square over x. So what is the common solution to these two values of f? The common solution is given by negative y square over x. The function of x is x minus 1 over x here. 
and the function of y is equal to y. So what will be the solution? The solution should be x minus 1 over x plus y minus y square over x is equal to c. So this answers example number one.